Hi guys, Andy here. I hope you're doing fantastic today. And today I'm very excited to bring you Kathy Rain. Now, I absolutely enjoyed this game when it came out. I played it already. Uh, when it first came out, I saw Harshly Critical play it. And it was so fucking beautiful. I had to play it myself, so... I made it through three episodes of his before I decided to buy it. And then afterwards, it's just, yeah, it's mine. I had to play it, and then I beat it before he uploaded the last bit, so... Let's see how much I remember. And let's hope I can remember to save, because I did not save last time at all. Hey, you! Uh, hey. Oh, man. Oh, God, this is so comfy. I'm just gonna lie here and suffocate on my own vomit now. I, uh, I had a thing I wanted to tell you. Uh-huh. This room sure looks different when it's spinning. So I was browsing through the used book ads in the paper when I... Listen, Eileen, I'm totally excited about books right now, but... Wait, hear me out! So I noticed this article about a war veteran from Conwell Springs who just died. I remembered that you used to live there and everything, and... Oh, how I wish for joyful, blissful sleep. I and get this! His name was Joseph. Joseph Rain. What did you just say? You knew him, right? I knew it! I knew you'd know him! Ooh, okay, so... He was my grandfather. Don't want to talk about it. I haven't seen him since I was a kid. Uh, yeah, he is... was my grandfather. Hey, wait a minute. I never told you where I grew up. Oh, well, I... well, I might have sort of looked you up. That is not cool, Eileen. Seriously. I just couldn't help myself. Well, one of these days you're gonna help yourself to a restraining order. I'm just telling you this as a friend. I know. Well, anyway, you should know that the funeral is tomorrow. Okay. Are you gonna go? I don't know. Good night, Eileen. <sighs> Good night, Kathy. Okay, sorry about any background noise. I wanted to make sure. Uh, I wanted to keep oh track of God, the time. Oh God, make it stop! Looks like Eileen left a note for me here. Hi, Cat. Since it's such a long drive, I set the alarm so you won't miss the funeral. Thank me later. E. I'm so getting a new roommate. <laughs> no, you're not. Well, I guess I should get going. I'm late enough as it is. Uh... Eileen's girly suitcase. There's a sticker on it with her full name. Eileen Mildred Summers. Mildred. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna get her for that. I wish I could wrap up that fact and save it for Christmas. Uh, honestly, she can believe in what she wants as long as she doesn't try to shove it down my throat. Looks handcrafted. Probably something she made in woodworking class. Well, either her or one of her twelve siblings. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of children. Makeup check, hair check, horrible mood, and contempt for humanity check. And that's obviously the poster that for- That uh... out yet. It's a promo poster Eileen got for being an extra. She tells everyone who walks in here the same joke. Spoiler alert, the boat sinks. The thing. One of my fa one of my favorite horror movies. Uh, do I need anything else? Uh might wanna pick up the handle first. Okay, smart ass. Uh there's nothing. Okay. Alright, I guess we're gonna head out then. Yeah, 
I really enjoyed this game. It was fantastic when I played it. We're gonna head to the cemetery. Well, here we are. God, I really need a smoke. Does anyone object? Guess not. Dead people rule. Okay, if you say so. Okay, you're just gonna leave it there? Uh, let's just keep on going. We are gathered here today to honor a person of great integrity, a pillar of the community, and a decorated war hero. His name was Joseph Irving Rain. We all remember his warm heart, his compassion, and his eagerness to help others. His passing while our loss is surely heaven's gain. Now we entrust our brother Joseph to God's mercy. We commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our frail bodies so they may be conformed to his glorious body, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. To him be glory forever. Amen. Now collect a group of Amen? No? Okay. Oh, Kathy, you big baby, just talk to her. Mary Elizabeth Rain, my grandmother on my father's side. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, excuse me, Mrs. Rain? Have we met, Anna? You look strangely familiar. It's me. It's Catherine. Catherine who? You don't recognize me? I guess it's been a while. I might be a bit taller than you remember me. Kathy? Bless my soul. Look at you all grown up. Oh, how I wish Joseph could see you now finally coming home. Let's hope he can, wherever he is. A comforting thought, dear. Lord, how long has it been? Ten years? Fifteen? Fifteen sounds about right. I was six when Mom took me away. Goodness, we have some catching up to do then. <laughs> I want to know everything. Listen, I'm not quite ready to leave yet, but why don't you join me at the house in half an hour? Sure, I'd love to. I passed it on my way here. It shouldn't be too hard to find. I'll see you soon, then. I'm so glad you found your way back home. I can't wait for us to have a chance to talk. Me Same either, here. Grandma. See you in a bit. Uh. The coffin is lowered, but the grave hasn't been filled up yet. Rest in peace, Grandpa. I wish things could have been different. It says, Price. No reason to go in there. A family mausoleum. The family must have been fairly rich. Those things don't come cheap. Okay. I'm sorry for your loss. Thanks. If you wish to find God, the Church of the Holy Trinity is always open to you. Is that so? Here, have a brochure. It's never too late to turn away from the path of sin. Uh, on my seashell shirt, I'm on a sinful path, Father. You're not familiar with the concept of a lost cause. Sorry, I'm kind of covering that. Uh, no sin, but what am I supposed to do for fun? Uh, on my and what makes you so sure I'm on a sinful path, Father? Wouldn't you say that prejudice is but a small step from the seven big ones? I simply meant that we are all sinful creatures, child. I hope to see you at the church. 
Mm, Don't no. get your hopes up, buddy. I'll pray for you. I wish you comfort in this time of grief. I like the backgrounds, hurry. Kinda reminds me of the trips I took as a kid. Well, I still take trips with my parents now and then. Uh, when we go to San Antonio and just visit, and you just see all the open grass, it's really, it's really nice. And then I fall asleep because I can't fucking stand the country. <laughs> Let me grandma. in, Grandma. Anybody home? Nice black leather coat, right up my alley. I can't do leather. Makes me sweat. This paint looks fresh. Grandma must have had this restored recently. Huh. Never seen this around. Grandpa must have used it towards the end. Mm. Can do anything with this? I don't have anything to search for. I should be able to use this for... Okay. small table lamp. Alright, I guess there's nothing there. Let's go see Grandma. Oh, hello, dear. I was just wondering what took you so long. Sorry, I couldn't resist taking that old wheelchair for a spin. Oh, don't give me that look. I put it back. You haven't changed one bit. Always kidding around, just like when you were little. Come have a seat. We have so much to talk about. So, now, tell me about your life in the city. Oh, there's not much to tell. I'm going to school for journalism. It's my second year. I ride a motorcycle in that's case what I you missed it there for. out front. Ah, oh, that's right. Just like your father. Yeah, I suppose. I must ask, have you heard anything from your father? Anything at all? No, nothing since he bailed way back then. I expected as much. He disappeared without a trace. No matter, that's ancient history. How Sharon, then? Uh, tell the truth, he had her committed to a mental institution. Avoid the subject, no reason to bring it up now. Ah, uh, let's just tell the truth. I don't have a reason to lie. Mom is... I had her committed to a place where she could get some real help. I just couldn't take it anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. In spite of everything that happened when she took you away. Yeah, about that. I'm sorry I didn't visit sooner, Grandma. Mom, she told me all these horrible lies about you and Grandpa. When I was old enough to understand what she was doing, I felt like it was much too late. It wasn't your fault, dear. You were a child. I'm just happy that you're here now. Me too. So, what about you? How have you been doing all these years? I've been lonely ever since the accident. There's no denying that. What accident? Goodness gracious. Of course you don't know. She took you away before it all happened. Don't know what? I will never forget that dreadful day. August 16th, 1981. It was the middle of the night when Sheriff Truman knocked on our door. He had Joseph with him. I couldn't even recognize Joseph at first. All dirty and wet with an awful blank stare on his face, like his soul had been ripped from his body. Since that day, he never spoke a word, forever confined to that blasted wheelchair. Really? For all this time? I had no idea. It came as a shock to all of us. That's horrible, Grandma. I'm so sorry. Thank you, dear. All right, we can ask her about the incident. Why do you think Grandpa suddenly left that night in 81? I haven't the faintest idea. He acted very peculiar not long before it happened, disappearing for hours at a time. At first, I even suspected he was having an affair. When I asked him about it, he just said he was chasing old demons. 
It must have had something to do with the war. PTSD? Maybe it was post-traumatic stress disorder? Grandpa always had a hard time showing weakness. I don't know, dear. I, I'm just speculating. I didn't think too much of it at the time. Joseph was a man of few words. I'm sure he just didn't wish to burden me with it, whatever it was. What did the doctors have to say about Grandpa's condition? Persistent vegetative state. That's what they call it. I've heard it all by now. One doctor said it was a stroke. Another claimed it was a seizure. The third hack tried to sell it off as a severe infection. It's all a load of tripe. I had an MRI performed on Joseph. It's one of those state-of-the-art head scans. Yeah, I've heard of them. Yes, well, according to the scan, his brain was completely intact. They thought it was a technical problem at the time, some kind of glitch. But the result was the same after three different scans on three different machines. Eventually, they had to confess that they simply had no credible explanation for the state he was in. Hmm. And this injury just happened to occur on the very same night he mysteriously disappears? Indeed. I refuse to believe it was a coincidence. What did Sheriff Truman have to say about the matter? Not much. He said they simply found Joseph in that condition on the outskirts of town. The sheriff was convinced there was some kind of foul play involved, but the investigation turned up nothing. He later said that he was sorry, but that he was forced to close the case. You know, I could try to find out more about this. You're welcome to try, dear. Some kind of closure would mean the world to me. Okay. I think I'll head over to the sheriff's station for a little chat then. Would be nice to witness police doing some actual police service for once. Sure, you go ahead. Let me know if I can be of any more help. Okay, uh, what do we got? We got a notebook, stun gun, a zippo lighter, a show pack of cigarettes. Oh no, we can't show grandma that. Uh... What do you think about this church, grandma? They seem harmless to me, but they can be a bit pushy at times. Huh, you could say that. Handing out pamphlets at funerals is in pretty bad taste. Awfully strange behavior for a priest, I'll give you that. Right? Okay, uh... Bye, Grandma. I'll be back later. So long. Can I look around? Any interesting thing? Grandpa in his Air Force uniform looks to be in his early 20s. Okay, let's leave. A bunch of cops lining up for a photo. Great. Hey, Sheriff. What's the deal with that bum? Hi. Hello. Do I have to commit a crime to get your attention? Because I seriously will. Ma'am, I'm really quite busy at the moment. Hey, wait. I know you. I'm pretty sure you don't. Yes, I do. You're Kathy. Kathy Rain. My reputation precedes me, in a kind of, but not totally creepy way. Aw, oh, come on, it's me, Lenny! Lenny Marks! Mm, admit the truth, you have no clue who he is. Pretend to recognize him. Ah, uh, let's pretend to recognize him. Oh, right, Lenny! Long time no see, buddy. Ain't that the truth? I suppose you came to town for the funeral? Yep, that's right. Sorry for your loss. Joseph was a great guy before, well, you know. Yeah, he really was. So, uh, anyway, what can I do for you today? Uh, let's ask I wanted about... to ask if you know anything about my grandfather's accident. I really don't know much beyond the rumors. 
The sheriff may have more information, but even he probably doesn't know anything that isn't in the report. It happened before either of us worked here. Okay, I think okay. I think I'll have a chat with the sheriff then. Sure thing. His office is to your right. Uh, can we ask him about the church? What's your opinion on this church? I think it's a nice enough church. Why? I don't know. The priest seemed odd. Kind of pushy. Yeah, I get your point. But I know the guy. He's harmless. If you say so. Okay. Well, gotta go. See ya. Hello, Sheriff. Hello, Sheriff. Do you have a moment? Not really. Make it quick. Do you know what happened to Joseph Rain in 81? He had a stroke in the woods. That's what happened. If that's all there is, why would Sheriff Truman open an investigation? It was just standard procedure. A general occurrence report always has to be filed. I see. Did you know him at all? No, I haven't been in town for long. Man sure has one hell of a reputation, though. It's been over a decade since he was put in that wheelchair, and people still talk about the man he used to be. It's like he was a cult leader or something. Sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. Could be, but you know what they say. Things too good to be true usually are. Mm, police report. Could I have a look at that report? Absolutely not. They're official police documents. Why not? I thought filed police reports are public record. They are. Not in this state, they ain't. Lenny, a little help here? Don't you agree that he's taking by the book too far? Well, uh, boss, she is his granddaughter, really. I don't think it's any... Don't you think I know that? There are rules. Am I the only one in here who cares about the law? Too much coffee? Try not to pop a vein. You want to see the inside of a cell? Oh, cuff me, officer. Spare me the torment of your rhetorical questions and veiled threats. Just follow the rules like everyone else. I've had enough of this nonsense. Fine. Okay, but you can get, uh... Um, what is it? You can get the police report. It's public record. Okay, uh... Not sure where those doors lead. I should go check it out. Paperwork coming along, Lenny. Uh, okay, I guess. Maybe halfway through. Okay. Uh. Thanks. That was getting annoying. Let's see. Hey. Hi there! So, why'd they put you in that cell? Uh, well, uh, it, it's all just a big misunderstanding. Is that so? Yeah, I, I didn't mean to steal anything. I was just using my pockets to move the beer to the checkout. That's the worst excuse I have ever heard. For your information, I happen to have a deadly fear of shopping carts. I take my last statement back. This excuse is even worse. Hey, it wasn't your father who was killed by a shopping cart when you were eight. Uh, I sure hope not. To be fair, mine wasn't either. It was just Uncle Bob. But that doesn't mean it was any less traumatic, mind you. To this day, I still get nervous breakdowns at grocery stores. I think I've heard enough, buddy. You're right. We should stop before the flashbacks begin. Backs begin. Sorry about that. I, ha I was on the phone with my mother. I'm you gonna need ask to keep the distract. blonde cop out there busy for a while. I do? Ten bucks says you do. Hmm. I'd say my services in this matter are worth at least twenty bucks. Nine. Fifteen. Eight. Fine. Ten. Seven. <sighs> Deal. Good. <laughs> so, uh, what am I doing again? Distract that young cop in the lobby. I don't care how you do it, as long as you keep him occupied for a while. Okay, then. Let me know when. Will do. Huh, very funny. <laughs> I just wanted to clean the floor. Oh, okay. Hey, the jail is off limits. You shouldn't be in there. Oh, sorry. 
I, I just heard someone yelling. Uh, I think that guy in the cell needs some help. Ah, <sighs> oh, what now? Okay, I have to make this quick. Various notices and a wanted poster. Okay, okay, uh, files. Okay, let's have a look. An individual was encountered on the side of a dirt road a few miles from Conwell Springs, blindly walking forward with his eyes wide open. The subject was identified as Joseph Rain. He did not respond when touched or spoken to. He appeared to be dirty from head to toe and wet up his t uh, wet, wet up his knees. Same. Uh, Mr. Rain was fiercely clutching a small tape recorder complete with tape. Being cooperative, he could be led into the squad car and transported back to town. Uh, 12.25 p.m. Picked up Mrs. Rain and brought her along with Mr. Rain to the emergency room at the community clinic. Uh, 8 a.m. Upon routine inspection of the patrol car, a tape recorder was found discarded on the back seat, filed as evidence in Locker 5. So, uh, there's actually an error right here. This should be the 17th. And this should be AM. Hmm, I'm gonna have to get my hands on that recorder. Okay, let's find the key to locker number five. Got it. Those lead to the jail and the ev- Okay, are you like gonna talk or something? Lanny, I need you to do something. How can I help us? Okay. We cut to him again. Hey. Hi there. Uh, okay, gotta go. See ya. Is it this easy to break into evidence locker? I would not know. Uh... All right, got it. Awesome. Uh, I guess I'll leave this episode right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I love Catherine. I'll be playing it, uh, I guess, for the next two weeks. I'm assuming last time it took me about five hours to complete it uh, blind. Uh, but after that, uh, I know what I'm doing. So, you know, uh, if you enjoyed it, leave a like. Uh, have fun, be safe, and enjoy yourself. 